Okay, boys and girls, we're going to explore with fractions some more today. We've been multiplying fractions by fractions, and we've been using several models to help us. Um, now that we understand the meaning of multiplying fractions, we want to think about would it be efficient to make a model each time we solved a problem. That might be difficult to do. So let's think about what we have solved. So yesterday we had several problems. We had one half times one fourth and we drew a model and we figured out that one half of one fourth was one eighth. And then we did another problem where we had one third times one half, and we figured out that that was one six. And we drew those models and um, solved those. And then we did one third times three fourths. And we had that model and we figured out that one-third of three-fourths was three-twelfths. One-third times three-fourths was three-twelfths. And we did two more. We did two-thirds times one-fifth, and we figured out that that was two-fifteenths. And then we did one-half times three-fourths, and that one was three eighths. Now, I want you to look at these equations and what maybe would be a possible rule for multiplying fractions. You can even pause the video and take a moment to look. Now, when we're looking for patterns, we really want to like analyze this and you want to look across, and then you want to look across again, and see if you see any kind of pattern. Always looking in different directions. Well, I'm noticing that this one is one, and my numerators are 1. Why do you think that is? I know 1 times 1 is 1. I can't, it wouldn't be addition, would it? Because that would be 2. But I am multiplying, and those are 1. Well, these numerators over here are different. Why do you think they're different? Well, I'm noticing that these numerators, this one has a 3 in it. 1 times 3 equals 3, and over here, 2 times 1 equals 2. Huh. Well, if I'm noticing a pattern, it's really the numerators are multiplying, and I'm getting the, my answer, my product, in the numerator is the multiplication of those two factors. Hmm. I wonder if that's the same pattern in the denominator. Let's take a moment to look. Let's see. 2 times 4 equals 8. Well, that's true, isn't it? 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 times 5 equals 15. 2 times 4 equals 8. Wow, that seems to be happening every time. That's a definitely a pattern. Do you think that this will always work? Why don't we try a new problem and see if that works? So if we have one half times two fifths, two fifths, 
So I know that's one half of two fifths. So let me go ahead and draw out two fifths. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shade in. Let me change my color here. I'm going to go ahead and shade in two fifths of that. All right, now I want one half of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make half of that two fifths. So half of the two fifths would be how much? Let me change my pen color. So I'm talking about half of the two fifths, so that's two, but out of how many parts? Well, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that would be two tenths. So does that work? 1 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 5 equals 10. Well, it does work. So let's try that again and see if that works. Because to prove a rule, I definitely want to try it more than once. So 3 fourths times two-thirds, so three-fourths of two-thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my model of two-thirds. Try to get equal parts here. Let me get my highlighter. And I'm talking about two thirds. So, well, does that look like two thirds? Okay, now my pen back. I want three fourths of the two thirds. So, one, two, three fourths of it. So I've got it that in four parts, and I'm talking about three-fourths of it. So let's see how much that is. How many parts are there? Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve parts. So I know that my denominator is 12 because there's 12 parts. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six twelfths. So three fourths times two thirds or three fourths of two thirds equals six twelfths. And that works with our model, doesn't it? Let's see if that works with our rule, where we're going to multiply our numerator times our numerator and our denominator times our denominator. Let's see. 3 times 2 equals 6, and 4 times 3 equals 12. That does work. And because it might not be efficient for us to draw a model every time we're multiplying fractions, we know from our rule that we can solve these because we are going to multiply the numerator times the numerator 
and the denominator times the denominator. So pause the video and practice these and then come back and we'll solve them together. Welcome back. Let's solve these together. So here I'm multiplying 1 times 3 equals 3 and 6 times 4 equals 24. So 1 6 times 3 fourths equals 3 24 Let's do the next one. The numerators 4 times 2 equals 8 and the denominators, 5 times 5, equals 25. So 4 fifths times 2 fifths equals 8 20 fifths. Great job today, boys and girls, determining the rule for multiplying fraction by fractions.